The opening of the facility comes at a time that majority of Kenyans cannot afford healthcare services, with the government spending less than 7% of its total budget in provision of healthcare. The sector of Medicare is so diverse and so capital intensive that the public sector cannot be relied upon to be the only sole provider and that there's need to partner with the private sector. Access and uh, affordability are two different things. So it must be accessible and it must also be affordable to the people who need it. Raila Odinga has also assured to solving the NHIF saga once and for all, since it's only through a comprehensive health fund scheme that health for all can be achieved. People are raising money to send patients to India, to South Africa, to Europe, to USA. This is costing a lot of money. So it's, and it's a constant uh, contribution. So it's impoverizing the already very poor people. With the lifestyle diseases in the increase, the facility has majorly invested into early diagnosis to avoid long-term illnesses that are proving costly to manage. But if, you did, if we detect coronary artery disease after a heart attack, 20% of the people would have already died. 10% before getting into the hospital. That is if you have a good, good hospital system. If you don't have a good hospital system, upwards of 20% will die before you reach the hospital. And then... 10% will die in the first year of a heart attack in spite of the best treatment you can get. So the downside of missing the early signs of heart disease in an individual, and when I multiply it 60 million times in India, you can estimate the human cost and the financial cost to a nation. Medanta Africa plans to set up over 100 centers across the East African region in the next three to five years. Henry Miner. GBS News.